So, hello, colleagues. Welcome to the new interview on Rosmo channel. Today, our guest is Martin Bock, uh, head of, uh, of metal additive manufacturing at Audi AG. Uh, and we will talk about additive technologies implementation in the Audi manufacturing. Hello, Martin. Hello. Uh, thank you for coming. Uh, so, Martin, uh, how are additive technologies applied in the Audi manufacturing? And could you please give some examples? Yes, of course. So um, there are three big columns. First, um, we are use these technologies for prototyping. For second one is for molds and dyes, and large dye inserts, and also for jigs and fixtures. Um, if you want an example, for instance, for the prototype sector, um, we have the Audi e-foil developed. Um, this was an electric driven surfboard. Um, very easy to handle for the end customer. And um, also it was developed within 100 days. So it was a very tight time frame from the first idea to a working and driving e-foil. Um, it's like an electric surfboard. And there was only an idea from a colleague from the design department. And uh, he had some drafts at first. And then he said, okay, I will testify some geometries and um, which geometry is the best in the real environment. So therefore we printed several design studies and prototypes uh, to find out the most appropriate design. So, um, so without any tooling, um, it is the biggest effort we can uh, use additive manufacturing. So for instance, I have some wings here. So this is an sample part. Yeah, and well. also we, we will give you some pictures from it that you have a complete uh, overview what it is. But this is an unprinted uh, wing, uh, one of the very early stage uh, in the design and development process. And you see also it is covered with the uh, CARTL surfacing. Um, means also we can um, have every color you need on this um, engine housing and therefore um, AM is also needed. So this is um, one of the big issues we can work on uh, with AM technologies. Could you please turn it around just to, to see different size? Yeah, so, so you see the other one. So this is, that's the surface like printed. Yeah, and coated with KTL. So we have diff two different possibilities mm -hmm. um, in design and in the usage. And also the covering uh, gives uh, the part more, um, yeah, I would say, uh, secure usage um, over the lifetime. Okay, thank you so much. Our factory driver Lucas de Grassi enjoyed a unique adventure on the Upper New York Bay before the 2018-2019 Formula E season finale. The Brazilian from Audi Sport ABT, Scheffler, took to the water on an e-foil, an electric-powered hydrofoil surfboard. This gave on Lucas a view of a different kind of futuristic water-going vehicle than what they used to see on the bay in front of the Statue of Liberty. Second big column is um, additive manufacturing for tool and die making. Mm -hmm. So um, we print large tool inserts up to 120 kilogram with conformal uh, cooling channels. So there is no other method uh, to manufacture these uh, large tool inserts. And as a result, our AM technology can improve our manufacturing process. Could you please tell about the implementation of metal additive manufacturing for end use car parts? Yeah, so we are a premium car manufacturer with a huge uh, volume in assembling cars per day. 
So, and we are also very successful, um, uh, we think. Um, but with AM technologies, we can't reach this amount of cars we manufacture per daily basis. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, could you please tell about the additive technologies application in the Audi pre series center in Ingolstadt? Yeah. So, we use AM technologies um, for nearly every prototyping project. Um, in the early stage of the part development process, it is settled as one of the technologies we can use. So there is a broad band uh, with uh, different technologies, of course. And um, we use this beside conventional methods. Mm -hmm. So sometimes a combination also from conventional manufacturing methods and also with AM technologies could make sense and could uh, shrink uh, overall uh, throughput times uh, to develop parts. So it is always a combination. So additive manufacturing means it is an additive technology also in the methods we can use and also the uh, manufacturing methods we can use to um, develop parts. So yeah, it's an, uh, one of the big columns we, we have on it. Um, in um, plastics, we have also an AM center. So they're very focused on plastic additive manufacturing with plastic materials. They have over 25 machines running in Ingolstadt. And so we are working very closely together with them. So we get different customer requests from different uh, sources from the Audi development centers. And then we decide both together, it is more a plastic part or it is more a metal part. And then we give them customers consultancy and advises uh, customers to choose the right technology for best part behavior. So it is always a kind of, we want to uh, serve the customer with the best manufacturing method. Uh, and uh, what materials does Audi use for additive manufacturing and why? We use aluminium, mm -hmm. tool steel, and um, stainless steel. So these are three different uh, powders with three different behaviors. Um, aluminium and um, stainless steel we use mainly for prototyping. And the tool steel 12709 is the name uh, uh, of the uh, material mm -hmm. we use uh, to manufacture these huge tool inserts up to 120 kilograms for tool inserts. So these tool inserts uh, are going to toolings, to tool concepts for die casting and for hot forming, also for injection molding. And what about plastic? Um, plastic, so there are different, there are a lot of uh, materials and my colleagues from the plastic department uh, are uh, more familiar with the different materials. So there's a broadband with, with all materials and plastics, but uh, we have to ask them, of course, uh, if they need, uh, if you need a, their special advice or something else. Okay, thank you so much. Uh, and um, uh, what 3D printers do you use for additive manufacturing? We have three printers in our met uh, metal center from Volkswagen in Wolfsburg. There is a special R&D department working on these issues. And then we have an exchange um, for the best machine concepts for the future. And then we will decide if this one or that one is better or the process with the other ones or the newer ones are better, then we will uh, go in a deeper um, consultancy with the machine builders, what will be happening in the future for us. Uh, in your opinion, what is the best 3D printing method? There is, there is of course, to say this um, uh, personally, um, there is no special best printing method. So it is always a decision you have to make as a startup uh, or as a company who wants to start with AM technology, what products should be printed, um, what material and part behavior you need. And then you have to uh, develop 
the right um, processes, the right parameters, and also then you get the right part for you. So it is always a very individual decision you have to make. Um, that's not easy, of course, but you have to do this because also you need organizational structures. Um, if you want to start with AM, you need also the complete process chain from the first design step for an AM part to the manufacturing of the AM part uh, till the uh, surface finishing sometimes by hand or something else um, for your end product. Okay, thank you so much. And what are your plans for further additive manufacturing development in Audi? Could you please tell us? Yeah, so we are working very closely together with different uh, companies, with universities, also with our internal colleagues. We have a huge knowledge ex exchange and also a pool of information within the Volkswagen Group. Um, we are working on uh, the improvement of our processes in terms of cost structure, quality, and also uh, this throughput times should be shrinked. And therefore, we are working very hard and making also test parts, test samples internally um, to improve our processes, of course. Okay, thank you, Martin, for the interview. And see you at Rosmold.